What if I told you that the greatest secret to rich, living soil was never found in a laboratory, but in something as ordinary as the lentils on your dinner plate? Imagine walking across a barren field, the soil tired, cracked, almost lifeless. You drop a handful of beans into that ground, and months later, it looks as though you've performed magic. The soil becomes dark, fertile, full of life, bursting with green plants that seem stronger, healthier, and even tastier. This is no ordinary trick. This is the forgotten alchemy of nature, hidden in pulses like lentils, chickpeas, and fava beans. For centuries, farmers whispered about the miracle of beans. They knew, without ever reading a scientific study, that where beans grew, the earth healed. Crops planted after lentils or chickpeas always seemed to thrive. Ancient farmers noticed that even tired soil, when kissed by these humble seeds, would return to life. They believed it was a blessing from the earth itself, a kind of natural gift. And in a way, they were right. But what they could not see was the invisible army of tiny helpers working beneath the ground, deep inside the roots of those plants. Here is the secret, legumes are not just plants. They are soil healers, partners with microscopic life. When you plant a lentil seed, it calls underground allies to its roots, bacteria that specialize in capturing nitrogen from the air and locking it into the soil. To you, air is just oxygen and nitrogen, invisible and untouchable. But to a plant, nitrogen is life. It is the key to building strong stems, lush leaves, and fruits packed with nutrients. Without nitrogen, a plant struggles, turns yellow, becomes weak. Farmers often try to fix this by adding chemical fertilizers, but those chemicals come with a price. They burn the soil, upset the natural balance, and create dependency. It's like giving the earth an energy drink, it works for a moment, then leaves it more exhausted than before. Pulses, however, work differently. They do not force the soil, they heal it. Through their roots, they create small nodules, tiny homes for the bacteria. Inside those nodules, a miracle unfolds. The bacteria take nitrogen from the air, break it apart, and give it to the plant. In return, the plant feeds the bacteria sugars made from sunlight. It is a perfect exchange, sunlight turned into sugar, sugar turned into nitrogen, nitrogen turned into life. And when the plant dies or its roots decay, that stored nitrogen stays in the soil, like a treasure chest left behind for the next generation of crops. That is why planting beans is like planting gold directly into the ground. But this is not just about science, it's about transformation. Picture a gardener who struggles every year with soil that refuses to cooperate. The vegetables are stunted, the leaves pale, and no matter how much fertilizer is added, the plants never feel truly alive. Then one year, this gardener tries something different. Instead of rushing to buy expensive chemicals, they plant a row of chickpeas and fava beans. At first, nothing seems different. But as weeks pass, the soil feels richer, softer, almost breathing. Worms return. The plants following those beans grow taller, stronger, their fruits juicier. Visitors ask, what did you do? What's your secret? And the gardener smiles, because the secret was never about adding more, it was about letting nature restore itself. This is why pulses are more than food. They are ancient tools of renewal. Civilizations have unknowingly leaned on them for centuries. Roman farmers rotated beans with wheat to keep their soil fertile. Indian farmers planted lentils after rice harvest to breathe life back into the paddies. Even in the harsh deserts, Bedouins knew that chickpeas could coax green life from the dust. Everywhere across history, wherever pulses grew, fertility followed. Yet today, many have forgotten this wisdom, buried beneath bags of chemical fertilizers and promises of quick fixes. The truth is, every lentil you hold, every chickpea you cook, is not just a source of protein for you, it is a hidden engine of fertility for the land. Imagine crushing those pulses into a natural fertilizer mix, returning them to the soil as a living tonic. Unlike artificial powders, which vanish quickly or wash away with the rain, this natural pulse fertilizer binds with the soil. It doesn't just feed plants once, it keeps feeding, because it awakens life in the soil itself. It feeds the microbes, the earthworms, the hidden ecosystem underground, it is not fertilizer in the way you've known it. It is more like soil medicine, a cure handed down from nature. And here is the beauty, you don't need a factory, or expensive machinery, or dangerous chemicals. All you need are pulses, the same ones in your kitchen. Lentils, chickpeas, beans. Soak them, grind them, let them ferment, and they transform into a nutrient-rich elixir. 
a potion that makes soil darker, richer, stronger. Farmers who try it often describe the change as shocking, plants growing faster, leaves deeper green, and harvest larger without any chemical boost. It feels like magic, but it is simply nature returning to its natural rhythm. When you stand in front of a field enriched with pulse fertilizers, you feel something powerful. The soil is not just dirt anymore, it feels alive, like a breathing organism. And perhaps the most extraordinary thing is this, you realize that in your hands, you hold both food and fertilizer, both nourishment for yourself and nourishment for the land. No chemical company can replicate that. No bag of synthetic fertilizer can give you that living cycle of renewal. It is unique to pulses. They are the beating heart of soil fertility, the quiet miracle we overlook every day at our tables. But why do we call it magic when the explanation is so natural? Perhaps because when you see the transformation with your own eyes, it feels like something out of a legend. Imagine walking through two gardens. In the first, the soil has been drenched in chemicals for years. The ground is pale, almost lifeless, and though plants still grow, they look tired, as if forced. The vegetables taste bland, the fruits lack sweetness, and the soil crumbles like dust in your hands. Then you walk into the second garden, one that has been enriched with the pulse fertilizer. The soil is dark and rich, full of earthworms wriggling with energy. The plants stand tall and green, the fruits shine with color, and when you taste them, the flavor is vibrant, alive, almost electric. The difference is not subtle, it is dramatic, and it is undeniable. That is why people who rediscover the power of pulses often describe it as if they had found a hidden treasure chest in their own backyard. The beauty of pulses as fertilizer is that they give more than they take. When you plant them, they don't deplete the soil, they restore it. Chemical fertilizers, on the other hand, act like a crutch. They feed the plant quickly, yes, but in doing so they weaken the soil over time. It is like feeding a person nothing but sugar, instant energy, but no long-term health. Pulses, however, are like whole food for the soil. They provide slow, steady nutrition, rebuilding strength year after year. They don't just feed the plant above ground, they feed the invisible community below ground, the vast network of microbes that truly govern the health of the earth. And when the microbes are happy, everything thrives. There is also something deeply humbling in realizing that the secret to soil health is hidden in something so simple, so common. Lentils, beans, chickpeas, foods eaten in humble homes across the world, often dismissed as poor man's food. Yet these same seeds, when returned to the soil, hold the power to outshine even the most advanced synthetic fertilizers. Isn't it ironic that the world spends billions on chemicals, when the answer has always been growing quietly in the fields, waiting to be remembered? Take lentils, for example. They are small, almost unremarkable. But when ground into powder and applied to soil, they release not only nitrogen but also a host of micronutrients, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, that enrich the ground in a balanced way. Chickpeas, with their dense seeds, break down slowly, releasing nutrition over time creating a steady flow of energy for both soil and plants. Fava beans, larger and stronger, leave behind a deep impact, restoring heavily depleted soils. Each type of pulse carries its own signature, its own unique gift to the soil. Together, they form what can only be described as nature's orchestra, each instrument playing its part to bring the ground back to life. And there's more, the residue of pulses, the husks, the stems, the leftover plant matter, is just as valuable. Nothing goes to waste. When composted or mixed back into the soil, these remnants act like mulch, improving soil structure, retaining water, and protecting against erosion. The soil becomes not only more fertile but also more resilient, able to withstand drought, heavy rains, and changing climates. This is why farmers who embrace pulses often notice that their fields need less irrigation, less maintenance, and still produce more. It is efficiency born from harmony, not force. Let us not forget the flavor. Plants grown in pulse-enriched soil often have richer taste, deeper color, and better texture. Ask any chef, and they will tell you, the secret to extraordinary food is extraordinary soil. When the soil is alive, the food carries that life into every bite. Tomatoes become sweeter, greens more vibrant, fruits juicier. You can literally taste the difference, and once you do, it is hard to go back. In this way, the magic of pulses does not stop at the field, it follows you to the table, into your kitchen, into your body. Some may ask, if this is so powerful, why isn't everyone using it? The answer is simple, modern farming has forgotten the old ways. 
In the rush for quick results and bigger profits, we turn to factories, chemicals, and bags of synthetic powders. The advertising promised abundance, and for a while, it seemed true. Yields rose, markets expanded. But beneath the surface, the soil grew weaker. Each year required more fertilizer than the last. S increased. Water ran off polluted. The balance was lost. Meanwhile, the ancient wisdom of pulses faded into memory, carried only by small farmers, indigenous traditions, and those who listened closely to the land. But now, as the costs of chemicals rise and the damage becomes impossible to ignore, people are turning back. And what they find is astonishing, that the solution was never lost, it was waiting all along, in the humble bean. Using pulses as organic fertilizer is not just a technique, it is a philosophy. It is the belief that nature already holds the answers, that the soil does not need to be dominated but healed, that farming is not about extraction but about partnership. When you plant lentils, you are not just growing food, you are writing a promise into the soil. A promise that says, I will give back as much as I take. And in return, the earth rewards you with abundance. That is the cycle, the rhythm, the ancient heartbeat of agriculture. Break it, and you find scarcity. Respect it, and you find plenty. So, when you hold that handful of pulses, those simple, everyday seeds, remember that you hold more than food. You hold a story as old as civilization. You hold a key to restoring balance between humans and the earth. You hold the quiet, living secret of fertility itself. And when you scatter those seeds into the soil, you are not just planting crops, you are planting life, resilience, and hope. It is no wonder ancient farmers treated pulses with reverence, no wonder entire cultures celebrated them in rituals and feasts. They knew something we are only beginning to remember, that inside every bean lies a miracle, waiting to awaken the earth once again. And so the choice is ours. We can continue down the path of chemicals, quick fixes, and broken soil, or we can return to the wisdom of nature, to the quiet power of pulses. One path leads to exhaustion, the other to renewal. One path depletes, the other restores. And the answer is so simple, so within reach, that it almost feels unbelievable. But perhaps that is the essence of true magic, the most powerful secrets are often the ones hidden in plain sight. Think of it this way, every pulse seed is like a messenger, carrying instructions written by nature herself. When you plant it, you activate an ancient system that no scientist, no corporation, no chemical factory has ever been able to fully replicate. It is the earth healing itself, through the partnership between plant and soil, between root and microbe. And the most astonishing part is that this gift is available to anyone. You don't need to own acres of farmland. You don't need to be a scientist. Even if you have a small garden, a balcony with pots, or just a patch of earth in your backyard, the power of pulses can transform your soil. It is a revolution disguised as simplicity. Imagine a future where communities grow their own food using nothing but these natural methods. Where children learn that beans are not only food for people but food for the land. Where neighborhoods exchange jars of pulse fertilizer instead of bottles of chemicals. Where the soil grows richer year after year, instead of poorer. Imagine cities turning their rooftops green, not with expensive systems but with lentils and chickpeas feeding the soil naturally. Imagine families saving money, eating healthier, and living in harmony with the land because they embraced a secret that was always right at their fingertips. That future is not far away, it is possible right now. There is also a deeper lesson hidden in this story. The pulse does not work alone. It partners with unseen bacteria, with sunlight, with soil life. It thrives not in isolation, but in cooperation. And perhaps that is the message nature is whispering to us, that survival, growth, and abundance come from working together. Just as the plant feeds the bacteria and the bacteria feed the soil, we too must learn to give back not just take. When we follow this rhythm, we flourish. When we break it, we decline. The pulse fertilizer is not only about plants and soil, it is about us, and the way we choose to live on this earth. There will always be those who doubt. They will say, it's too simple. It can't be that powerful. They will point to glossy bags of chemical fertilizer and claim that is the only way to feed billions. But history has shown us that shortcuts always come with hidden costs. And nature has shown us, again and again, that the simplest solutions are often the most profound. The choice is not between feeding people or protecting the earth, it is about realizing that the two are the same. When the soil is alive, the food is abundant. When the food is abundant, people are nourished. And when people are nourished, 
society thrives. All of it begins with something as humble as a bean. So, the next time you cook lentils, the next time you hold a handful of chickpeas, take a moment to see them differently. See them not just as food for your body, but as food for the soil, food for the future. Imagine the fields they can restore, the gardens they can revive, the ecosystems they can heal. Imagine the taste of a tomato grown in soil enriched with pulse fertilizer, a taste that carries the vitality of life itself. This is not just agriculture. It is a partnership with the living earth, one that has been waiting patiently for us to remember. And here is the final truth, you don't have to wait for someone else to begin. You can start today. You can grind those pulses, soak them, ferment them, and return them to the soil. You can bring your ground back to life, one handful at a time. And as you do, you become part of something bigger. You join a chain of farmers, gardeners, and dreamers stretching back thousands of years, people who trusted in the quiet power of pulses to renew the earth. You are not just feeding plants, you are restoring balance, reviving traditions, and planting hope. So ask yourself, will you keep pouring chemicals into the soil, watching it weaken year after year? Or will you choose the path of renewal, the path of life, the path that begins with something as simple and powerful as a bean? The answer is in your hands. It has always been in your hands. Because every seed you plant is not just the beginning of a crop, it is the beginning of a miracle. And that miracle is waiting for you, right now, inside the humble pulse. If this story inspires you, if you believe in returning to nature's wisdom, then share this secret with others. Pass it on, because the more people who rediscover it, the faster we can restore the soil, the food, and the future we all depend on. And don't forget, subscribe, join this journey, and let's spread the magic of natural pulse fertilizers together. Because the world is ready for this secret, and it begins with you.